G'day, we're down here at the Ohio Canal and it's a beautiful day. It's warm and all west is here and guess what? The fish are really on the bite. So we're going to go and try our techniques in a different place from what we normally do. We've got fast moving water here because we just where Lake Ohio flows into the top of the canal. And uh, we're going to take some of our very light jigs and our very good soft baits and we're going to have lots and lots of fun. So the principle is the same. We just want to cast into the edge of the current, not in the middle of it, and fish the half that's on our side. So, we're going to cast up, let it drift, keep good control, and wham on, we're going to catch fish. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, no! No! Oh, Oh, show me that. Hey, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
see what we're going to do with it. Yeah, let's see what we can do if I can see it. Heads up. Oh, it's a big you alright. Taking the top back. One, two, and three, and we'll just do one more. So here's my setup. On the bottom, I've got my soft bait, and because it's quite heavy water, I've got a heavier than normal jig head. That there's actually uh, an eighth of an ounce. And on the top, I have a dropper, which comes off on one side. There it is there. Yeah, yeah, I can see it getting there. Mm -hmm. And that's got an egg cluster, which looks real attractive. It's got to be yummy to eat. Is what I'm doing here, which is just dumping it out and dropping it in. Now the great thing about water that's moving very fast is this. Big trout live there. Well that's got to be a great start. But the thing that they need to do is feed. The biggest trout sit in the hardest water. So that's where I'm looking for them. They're looking for the tidbits that come out from what's above us, which is the lake. And so I'm trying to give them something that they can make a quick decision on and grab it. The faster the water moves, the quicker the decision has to be, otherwise you go home hungry. There's a little bit of patience involved in it, but if you continue to put it through the right zone, oh, I just had a hit and lost it. If you put it through the, got to keep my concentration up. Oh, I love the hit, something else had to go. Uh, oh, again, again, bites, bites, another bite, oh yeah, still biting, no, it stopped. That's what I love about, that's what I love about soft baiting, you never know when they're going to hit, and you get lots of bites that you don't hook up on, but it keeps you really interested. So we don't know where it's going to happen, so you just keep moving it around, and eventually, the bait and the fish coincide, and it's all go. Oh, 
Oh, that looks freaking. Tell me, am I all right? There you are. It's a rainbow, isn't it? It's a rainbow. Oh, cow, you're the man! Twice in two days, mate. What's the story? This looks like one of those real wild ones. Give him, I reckon it's about 15 or 16, what do you think? Yeah. Oh. Look at him! He doesn't like that, does he? <laughs> 